Hello, today I'm going to show you how to operate a Kyocera Task Alpha 4 series with the MyQ login panel. You'll need to know your four digit employee ID number to log in, as well as to register your ID badge. In order to register your ID badge, you'll have to enter your four digit code, and you can either press the check mark or the OK button. Once you log in, then you press the ID card registration orange box. You place your ID card right to the left of the panel, and you'll either have a successful message or you'll hear a beep. When you see one of those, then just log out, and your card will be registered. Once you register your card one time, then you don't have to register it again. And you can print on any machine within the city as long as you use your ID card or you use your four digit code. If you don't know your code, then get with HR or IT. Not everyone has an ID card that is readable, so please get with your management. Next, I'm gonna show you how to scan. I need to log in first. Let me try again. So if you, in order to scan, you press the pink box button, scan to email. Again, to do a quick scan, these are your four options. The only thing you may wanna change is if it's a two-sided document, and you click on this arrow here. And those are the different options for two-sided. So since most people use letter size and you want to do a duplicate scan, then you will select the bottom one, binding on side for a two-sided letter size document scan. So once you make your changes, all you have to do is place your piece of paper in the dock feeder. Notice it says face up. You'll either press the check mark button or the start button. Your scan will now go to your emails. Once you receive that document, if you need to forward it to other people, that's where you do that. You do it through your email. The next thing I'll show you is how to copy. So you'll press the copy button. These are the different options and there's no limitation on the buttons. Notice you have all these other features and you can also select the different tabs here. And you have all the different um, options there freely. But to do a basic copy, the only thing that you may wanna change is if you need to change it to color. And if you need to change it to color, select auto color Never select full color. Full color, I'll charge you more for a black and white print, so always choose auto color. And you may want to change duplex here, if anything. Another option is stapling. If you have a machine that you can staple, then these are the different options here, as well as hole punch. Once you make your different changes, all you have to do again is put the paper in the dock feeder face up. You enter the amount of uh, copies you need and press the start button and it'll make your copy and then it will come out on the um, tray here. That's the copy mode, so I'll go ahead and go back to the home screen. The next box that we'll go to is to print all my jobs. So when you're at your computer, you'll have actually four different options, two secured printing and two direct printing. The secured printing, you'll either get to print in color or you'll get to print in black and white. If you choose that option, then when you press start, the print jobs will actually stay in this queue until you log in and then it'll actually print out 
when you log in. If you press direct, then the documents will print directly to the machine automatically without you waiting. The next box is a view my jobs. And this is gonna be um, all the jobs that you have printed. Another feature is the status job cancel. And this is May, this is where you might wanna cancel a job if you see something printing. Then all you have to do is press the pause all print jobs. And then you can cancel that specific um, selected job. But don't forget to press resume in order for the machine to continue working. Another thing is you can see the toner level by pressing this little, the different colors up there and that will show you the toner percentages there. Now, now I'll go over the different areas on the machine um, just to go over all the, the different areas here. You have a little cloth to where you can actually wipe the different, um, here's the cloth. And if you have dirty copies or dirty scans, you'll take the cloth and you can wipe it here on this slit glass, as well as in here, this slit glass. And if that does not fix it, then all you have to do is simply find this red sticker underneath your dock feeder and it'll give you the 1-800 number and give them your ID number and a service technician will come out. So um, another thing is the different areas on the machine for uh, paper jams or misfeeds. So that will be in this area here. There is a roller that you can roll out the paper that might be misfeed there. Another area is here. Another area is here on the side. And you'll see any place that there's a sticker, you can gently touch it and pull out the paper. Be careful because it can be hot. And there's like a one, a three, a five. There's a two. I don't know where A4 is. But those are the different areas there. Notice you might have to sort of, I need to do it harder in order for the machine to take. Um, another paper jam area, if you have two paper drawers that you can put 1,500 sheets of paper in on the bottom. Another area for a paper jam or misfade would be right in here. And you pull these drawers out all the way and pull this out and then lift this and take the piece of paper out there. And two more areas would be here and it does have instructions. This is one area. Make sure that you actually put this up because if not, then you won't be able to close it. So you'll put that up there. There's D3. And then here is D2. Here um, is an area to change the staples. So this is the staple. Uh, tray you actually have three of these little boxes in one carton and you'll place that in and then just gently put it in there as far as the toner the KSR team will actually see your toner alerts and when you get to a certain level will automatically ship you toner however if we do happen to miss it the first time or any time and it get, does get low then feel free again to Go to this red sticker, call that 1-800 number and give them your ID number and they'll ship out toner to ASAP. So to change out the toner, 
you'll need to pull on both sides. And you'll notice four different types of toners. The door will not actually fall down to change the toner until there's absolutely no toner left. And then you'll be able to change it. Another thing is that this black toner cartridge will actually be the new waste toner bottle whenever you put in a new toner cartridge. So again, this will be the new waste toner bottle. And you just simply throw this one out in the trash when you have to replace it. You do have to push it in. There's gonna be like a little resistant, but just gently push it in. And there's actually specific instructions on how to put it in as well. So be careful. And as far as the paper trays, the first paper tray you can put up to legal size paper. And all you have to do is just change it if you need to change it there. The second tray you can put up to 12 by 18 paper. And then the last two drawers, you can put up to three reams of letter sized paper on each side. Now, um, another thing is a multi-purpose tray. If you need to use a multi-purpose tray, you'll have to go um, not only on your computer and choose the multi-purpose tray, but you'll also want to change the media type if you're using labels, envelopes, or cardstock. Because if it's labels, then the machine will not get as hot. But if you're using cardstock, you want to tell the machine so therefore it'll get hotter so the toner will actually stay on the cardstock paper. And let me log in so you can know how to change the uh, setting on the machine. So we'll go to the copy mode. And go to the auto paper paper selection. And here's when you'll cha change the multi-purpose tray. And the media type. And this is where you change it to labels envelopes, cardstock, whatever you need to change it to. And again, the media type needs to be changed on the copier as well as your computer. And in order to see the toner status, you click on the little uh, different color items there and you'll see the different toner percentages. And if you need a shortcut or a program key to be created, then please contact me. I'll have my contact information on the cheat sheet. And if you need um, to have more training or if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call anytime. For those departments that are open 24 seven, feel free to text me or email me after five. We do have support after five and on the weekends, but it will be additional charge. And I believe that's it. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.